Welcome Libra. Welcome back. This is going to be your April 2023 reading. What's going on? What you can expect? Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Now Libra, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more with you at this time. Okay, so let's get some energy for Libra. What's going on? Okay, wow, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So if you're currently in a relationship, I feel like your relationship is moving to a new level, a higher level. Okay, um, if you're not currently in a relationship, I feel like you are meeting someone who is very potentially someone who you can, you know, grow into you know, um, grow into this certain situation, into more love, more caring, more, you know, having the ability to love here, right? Ooh. Okay, so we have overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah. The worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. Okay? So whatever obstacles or challenges that you may have been facing, you're now overcoming those. Um, you may not see it clearly at the moment, but those obstacles you have battled and you have victory over. Right? So that's beautiful energy. <clears throat> so some kind of struggle that you've been through is now ending for you okay we have breathe so it may be time for you to breathe to focus to find your alignment again you know the struggles that you went through may have kind of caught you off balance okay at the bottom we have treasure island so there's something beautiful that's unfolding there's abundance here that you may not be completely aware of at the moment but it's there it's coming it's on the way right so the number 29 may be significant for you it may be your birth date it may be you know the age that you are at this moment but i feel like the number 29 is very significant okay that also reduces to the number one okay well, actually, it reduces to the number two. So sorry about that. Okay. And Treasure Island, the number nine. That may be very significant as well. Okay. So let's take a look and see what's going on with Libra and love. I kind of lost my train of focus at the moment. Oh. Time to get that alignment for myself, I think. Okay, so what's going on for Libra in love, please? Abundance. See, that's that treasure island we were seeing. You know, there's abundance in your forecast. There's something that's going to be very abundant. It's going to put you in a better mindset, a positive mindset. There's something that you're manifesting that's going to come into fruition during the month of April okay um, I feel like you put the intention out there and now that manifestation is finally unfolding you may have been really thinking about it really you know putting that gratitude out there but this is going to bring you a lot of happiness a lot of joy okay so I feel like that's very interesting we also have not enough so there's some kind of relationship in your life that you're very frustrated with. It's It may be a friend. It may be someone who's just not very positive all the time. Someone who is negative. Um, but I feel like you're very frustrated in this relationship. You're ready to find something different. You may be ready to look for new friends. Um, because I feel like this person is lacking in confidence. They kind of make you feel that way as well you know they kind of you know that energy that they're putting out there is kind of and you're 
absorbing it in some way so I feel like you know there's someone who is sabotaging a relationship here um, and they're sabotaging they're sabotaging it with negative energy so there may be some kind of issues of negativity of jealousy of envy that you're going to be dealing with in the month of April and I'm really getting that this is a friend this is a um, someone who's close to you, someone who sees you as the person they want to become, but they're just not there yet, right? Um, they just, they, they don't have the ability to let go of that negativity the way that you do. So they kind of sees you as someone who has it together, someone who's really focused and driven, and they see themselves as lacking the confidence to do the things that you do right um so let's take a look at the tarot let's see what's going on with libra give me a message for libra please for april 2023 and i'm dropping cards on the floor wow the ace of wands we also have the Page of Wands, the Temperance, and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. We have the Queen of Cups, the Strength card, and the Three of Swords. Wow. Okay. Look at what we have on the bottom, the Ten of Cups. Okay. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot. I feel like these difficulties still may be lingering some, um, but I feel like overall April is going to be, be a very happy and abundant time for you. Uh, there's going to be happiness in your family, your home. Um, you're going to feel fulfilled, but you're also going to have these moments of feeling like you are really going through it, right? Like there's something that needs to end. And there's something that's leaving you in doubt, something that's very painful or um, kind of leaving you just feeling is what I'm getting. Okay, like you may not even know the reason why you're upset or the reason why you're feeling down. You're just, you know, it's just that kind of day, right? Um but a good thing is these swords have fell away from this heart and the heart is healing. So I feel like even though you may not be sure where these emotions are coming from, I feel like there's something that you're healing. There's something that you're working through and you have the strength. You have the ability to do it, right? And I'm sorry to be working backwards here, but I really felt focused on that three of Three of uh, Swords energy. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's see, we have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Temperance card. So, and I feel like there's something new coming. There's some kind of new idea, new creative venture that you're starting, some kind of new project. And I feel like, you know, this may be a new job, a new venture, a new idea that you're pursuing. But I feel like this is a lot of creativity. This is something new that's going to bring you passion and fire. Um, and I feel like you are able to adapt to the situation very easily. There's also something that you're very curious about or something that you're researching, something that you're really looking into. Um, this could also be new co communication that's coming into you, new thinking, kind of like a shift in your thinking. Um, but I feel like it's bringing you a lot more balance. You're able to feel more grounded and have more patience in your situation you know i feel like this is a blessing that's coming through for you and you're patiently waiting for this blessing to arrive okay um very interesting we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards as well but i do feel like there is something that you're done with there's something that's over that had to end um it may be the situation here with the person that we spoke about before but I feel like this is someone that you have a lot of care for 
this is someone that you think very highly of um but they ha you know it, it's time for them to move on you may have grown out of this situation right but i feel like this situation has kind of put you into the spot to feel very overwhelmed like you know you're sorry to see whatever this is leave from your life you know and that may be the reason why we have the the three of swords here because i feel like there's a lot of history there there's there's some kind of attachment right but i feel like you know you are able to pull yourself together because you have the strength you have the power to overcome these obstacles these challenges you know the this hurt that you're facing right i feel like you're overcoming this because uh you have the courage you're being fearless you know you're stronger than you really know at this time right so let's clarify these cards tell me more about this message for libra tell me more about this message for libra spirit give me a message Okay, the hangman. Yeah, you're deep in thought. You're searching for answers here. The seven of swords. Wow. The page of wands. And the tower. Lots of changes. Lots of changes happening for you. But these changes are meant to happen. This is meant to transpire the way that it that it's transpiring. This is this is the way it's supposed to go right these changes were meant to happen to bring you into a better place and i'll elaborate on that in a moment okay but i feel like you know you're deep in thought you're trying to find a different perspective in the situation because you feel like you're losing something you feel like something is being taken away from you someone's not being honest someone may be sneaky conniving you know someone is just being jealous and envious at the moment you know and they want to take something away from you they want to have something that you've got right and i feel like you're trying to figure this out you're trying to find the answers well i feel like you know someone's going to be speaking in your ear about the situation you're going to fully hear about it you're going to get the answers that you need and i feel like that is what is going to bring about this change that is going to make this tower crumble because of what you're hearing what someone is telling you i feel like once this person tells you something it's all going to become very clear you know and i feel like you you have the you you want to hear everything this person is saying okay and i feel like they're telling you an earful right um but once they tell you once you go through these changes you're going to be able to create something different create you know a better position okay and i feel like you know you're able to kind of lower those guards again not be so defensive not be so um caught up on the situation you're going to lay down those burdens there okay and I, I feel like with the two of wands reversed this is a decision you already made it's already set in stone you're already like you know i've made that decision i'm running with it there's nothing else anybody can say to shift my decision right um and i feel like it's you're just done with it it's over you're no longer defending yourself you're no longer defending your position you're no longer building up those walls you're letting those walls down because there's no need for you to have them right um and i feel like you're you're taking back your control from someone else you know, you felt like someone else had control over your life and now you're taking back that control. You may have felt powerless 
about a situation okay you may have felt like you there was nothing that you could do there's nothing that you could do to get out of a situation you felt completely powerless but you're able to fully take your power back to stand on this strength you know because here we have the strength upright you're you're stronger than you really realize now this heartbreak comes in here and now you feel like I'm just weak. I have no strength to to go forward. Okay? But you do. You still have that strength. Okay, Libra? You still have that same power. You're just feeling the weight of the issue. You know, you're feeling the weight of that tower. And um, you just need to focus. Take a breather. Take a breather. You know, feel that alignment happening for you because you will be overcoming these difficulties you will have victory you will see that light at the end of the tunnel look how beautiful this card is right um so just know that this is just a phase you'll you'll soon be able to focus on yourself because i feel like with this four of swords in reverse you're not able to see the big picture. You're not able to take care of yourself. You know, you're just like in limbo at the moment. But you are going to have victory. You are going to have victory. Okay. Something is turning in your favor. The karma is coming back. And you are having your justice in this situation. You're going to feel that balance shift. Okay, and you're going to be able to, you know, take that time out. Take that time out. Even if it's a union that is ending, you know, you're still be able to go on and feel free. Right. So let's go ahead and take a look. <sighs> At the romantic tarot. <clears throat> Let's get more messages from the Romantic Tarot, please. What's going on for Libra? Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Action. This is the Six of Wands. So, you're going to have success. Once this all transpires, you're going to feel like yourself. You're going to feel recognized, regenerized. You know, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotion, and other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Okay, so you may have someone coming in that's going to help you through your situation, right? We also have a new beginning. You are beginning a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world. And if you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So there is definitely a new beginning after this tower. After this tower moment, you know, you feel like nothing is coming through, but there is a new beginning. You are going to be able to be successful, right? So I feel like the, the month of April may be like a roller coaster ride for you, but, you know, take that ride, Libra, because it's going to work out in the end, right? We have the seven of action. That's the seven of wands. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling. And if you, if you take a look. You know, Libra, it's all going to work out for the best. It's going to work out for its greater good, okay? What you're not expecting is celebration. 
this is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Okay, so that's beautiful, Libra, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the Manifestation Moonology for Libra. Let's take a look at the Manifestation Moonology. Okay, we have step into your power, first quarter moon in Aries. Definitely take your power back. And we also have focus on the positive, new moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so try to keep your focus and honor your feelings. You know, take time out for yourself to be balanced, rejuvenized, find your alignment. Honor the way you feel when you are feeling a certain way, okay? Don't try to push past those feelings. Work through them, right? Okay, let's get a Moonology card for Libra. You are good enough. I, I hear that, Libra. You are good enough for any situation. You have the power, okay? You have the power. A win-win outcome is forecast. So, yeah, it's all going to turn out for the best. You know, whatever you're going through, I feel like it's going to work itself out. It's, it's just one of those months where there's going to be struggle, but you're also going to have, you know, victory. Okay? So, yeah, take heed. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for Libra, please? Give me a message for Libra. What does Libra need to know? Summer. Taking action. Something coming into fruition. Um, I feel like, you know, summer is going to be very vibrant for you, right? Um, and we also have nettle. Boundaries. Caution. Okay? So, and I feel like, you know, you... There's something coming into fruition, but I, I feel like, you know, you, after this tower falls, you're going to feel like you no longer need to set those boundaries, but you do. Okay, Libra, um, set your boundaries. You know, don't raise your wall so high that no one can enter, but, you know, take caution. Okay, so that is what I want to let you know. Okay, let's take a look at your angel number. What's going on for Libra? Take a look at your angel number, please. Okay, we have one, two, three, vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's, and that is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Okay? Your affirmation, Libra, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay? So that is your affirmation and your angel number. So Libra, I hope this reading finds you well. I hope this resonates with you. If this resonates, please like and subscribe and also comment below. I love to read your comments. And if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more at this time, okay? So um, also take a look at my merch down below um it turned out really beautiful i think be mindfully beautiful okay um so yeah so until your next reading libra many blessings to you love and light